If your relationship is anything like ours, one of you is really excited about essential oils. Yay! While the other one, me in this case, just isn't. Aww. However, there's a way you can take advantage of this whole essential oil thing. Yay! Okay, out. Get no. out. Get out. Get out. <laughs> out. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> sorry about that. Even if you're not sure about this whole essential oil thing, there is a way you can take advantage of it as long as you're a big fan of root beer. So, the whole essential oil thing, it just kind of snuck up on you. One day you came walking into your living room and noticed that everything was different. What you found out is that your significant other, the one who's really excited about essential oils, got talking to one of their friends, read a blog, and maybe even watched a documentary, believed it all, and now your life is completely different. Things that you've done your whole life that were just fine are now not okay. Hey wife, where's the soap? We don't use soap anymore. We use clay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we should be using soap. You've also found out that pretty much everything you've been doing your whole life somehow causes cancer. Don't use the microwave. Microwaves cause cancer. And that big pharma is your enemy. You know, the people who've been helping you feel better your whole life. They're actually the bad guy. Dad, I have a headache. Oh, we can fix that. Don't use synthetic chemicals. We have essential oils for that. Big Pharma's the enemy. Come on, Krista. <laughs> Which kind of begs the question. If the big corporate people at Big Pharma are your enemy, how do we know that the big corporate people running the essential oil business are your friends? But anyway, while you sort all of that out, there is a way that you can take advantage of that if, like me, you like root beer. So, if the essential oil fan in your life uses a diffuser, then you're actually in luck. Now, a diffuser could look something like this. There's a lot of different brands a lot of different types of diffusers, but what these do is they just vaporize a mix of water and essential oil into the air, and they use it for aromatherapy. So what you can do is actually make the smell that comes out of this smell like root beer. All you have to do is you just take off the cap, okay, and then inside you have a compartment where they put their water and they put their oil, okay? So what you're gonna wanna do is you're just gonna wanna just, just dump that, dump that water out, That way you've got the compartment nice and empty. Then, what you're gonna wanna do is take a can of your favorite kind of root beer. I'll just open, open this up. Very tempting not to just drink this. And what you wanna do is just wanna put the root beer into the compartment you here. You don't with use root beer. You don't use root beer. How many times did I tell you, don't use root beer? Okay, so, so scratch that. Try this instead. Go over to the oil shelf where your oil fan is keeping their essential oils and you're gonna wanna grab Citrus Fresh Wintergreen or if they don't have that per se, you wanna grab Stress Away, Winter Fresh, and Peppermint. If you're using Winter Fresh and Wintergreen, you're gonna wanna put in equal parts Citrus Fresh and Wintergreen uh, in with your water. So that's, you'll put in two drops 
of each or three drops of each. If you're using Stress Away, Wintergreen, and Peppermint, you're going to want to use six drops of Stress Away, three drops of Wintergreen, and one drop of Peppermint. For those of you who care, Citrus Fresh is good for your immune system. Wintergreen is good for muscle aches. Stress Away takes your stress away. And Peppermint smells like Christmas. But for those of us who don't care, it just makes what comes out of your diffuser smell like root beer. It's a win-win. Try these different recipes out, see if they work for you. Let us know how it went in the comments below. Okay, like our video, subscribe to our channel. And if you disagree with anything that I said, don't worry. Okay, my essential oil fan back here is going to have something to say about it next week. So let us know, and uh, we'll see you then.